Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. If you're one of the 33 million plus happy owners of an iPhone, you may also have been one who has suffered a catastrophic event, a cracked iPhone screen. Well, there's no reason to panic because for about $30, you can replace this iPhone screen. And I'm gonna show you how on today's weekend project. Make Volume 22 is where you'll find the iPhone Screen Repair Project by Morton Scogley. In addition to your cracked iPhone 3 or 3GS, you're going to need the touchscreen replacement, some front panel adhesive strips, and a few other things. You'll find a link on this video and along with this post of where you can buy them. To begin with, you'll want to pull out your SIM card, so use a paper clip to do that. And then you're going to notice two screws on the very bottom of the phone. Those two little tiny screws need to come out. Now a little trick is to grab a magnet to hold these teeny tiny screws because you don't want to lose them. Using an X-Acto knife or a very small screwdriver, you want to begin by prying the screen assembly away from the case. Use caution not to cut the rubber molding that goes between the screen and the case. After a little bit of work, the screen assembly will be freed up and you'll notice three ribbon cables at the very top of the phone. Those need to be disconnected. Now the LCD panel needs to be removed from the screen, so there's some screws. There's a total of five side screws, and then there's one lonely little screw that's on the inside that needs to come out as well. Once all the screws are out, the LCD assembly will come clear from the frame. Don't let information overload you. Where is it? Find what you need with a tap. By 3 p.m. Friday, here's what we need. The new Echo Smart Pen from Livescribe. Tap it, get it, get it. This next step is the most tedious and time consuming because you have to use great care. Using a heat gun and again an X-Acto knife or other small object, we're going to be separating the screen from the screen frame. Again, be careful doing this because you don't want to damage the frame that the screen is attached to. And when you're all done, the screen will come free from the frame. Be sure to check for any cracked glass that might still be stuck to it. Now using some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip, clean the frame really well and you may even have to use an X-Acto knife to get some of that adhesive off because we're going to be replacing it with these pre-cut panel adhesive strips. There will be two strips, one for the top and one for the bottom, so put those in place carefully and when they're down, good and secure, remove the protective cover. Now it's time to take your replacement screen and put that in place starting at the bottom of the phone and slowly lay it in place making sure that it fits nice and tight. Be careful to not let those ribbon cables get in the way because they need to be plugged in. And now it's time to reverse the disassembly process. So we're going to put the LCD assembly in place, attach the screws for that, and then reinsert the three ribbon cables in the base of the phone and snap your new iPhone screen assembly in place. And you've just replaced your cracked screen on your iPhone. We'll see you next time with another weekend project. <music>